Hi everyone, welcome back to UWorld's question of the day. My name is Samantha, I'm a nurse here at UWorld and we're back with another day of obstetrics week. So today the nurse is reviewing new medication prescriptions for a client at 29 weeks gestation who is experiencing preterm labor. The nurse should clarify the prescription for, go ahead and drop your answers in the comments, pause the video if you need to, and I'm gonna jump right into our rationale. So our correct answer here is option four because it's an unsafe medication to give to a pregnant client. So it requires follow-up. Doxycycline is a tetracycline antibiotic. It is not safe for use during pregnancy. The medication can pass through that placenta and cause fetal harm. It can cause things like irregular development of the fetal teeth and long bones. So this would not be safe to give, therefore we would have to clarify it, call the provider and ask them what they were thinking. Options one, two, and three are all safe to give and indicated in the case of preterm labor. Mag sulfate is for fetal neuroprotection. It helps prevent against things specifically like cerebral palsy. Um, option number two is going to be that betamethasone. We would give this to help those fetal lungs to develop. It's a steroid shot given intramuscularly to the maternal client, ideally in two doses 24 hours apart, but sometimes preterm labor progresses so quickly we don't have a full 24 hours, um, but this is something that we would give for preterm labor. And lastly, endomethacin, option number three, it's an NSAID. It works to prevent prostaglandin production, which helps to relax the smooth muscle of the uterus and help to cease some of those contractions. It's indicated for preterm labor and it's safe to give under 32 weeks of pregnancy. So again, option number four was our correct option. Hey, that's too big. Click the link in bio for more information on UWorld Nursing.